Kia ora everyone, Martin King here from The Pride Pledge. Today I'm here to talk to you about the results of the recent Pride Pledge COVID-19 Rainbow Pulse Survey that we conducted. We conducted a survey of over 150 Pride Pledge organisations throughout New Zealand and asking how rainbow people in New Zealand were impacted by COVID-19, specifically around employment and looking for new employment and then a touch on mental health. The results of the survey are now live on our Facebook page, which you can download. You can get them from our website, pridepledge.co.nz, or you can email me, martin at winterpride.co.nz. The key outtakes are really simple and really clear. Number one, rainbow people are impacted by COVID-19 in ways that are concerning. The first one that we found is that up to one third of rainbow people in New Zealand would consider going back into the closet and seeking new employment during the crisis, mainly with a view that they'd be concerned about not securing a job because of their gender or sexual identity. The second piece we want to talk to you about is employers are not doing enough to support their rainbow employees. 79% of people surveyed said their employers hadn't done anything specific to support Rainbow employees during this time. One I want to talk to that's really important um, to, to deal with the issue we spoke to in point one is Rainbow safe and inclusive workplace need to be explicit about you being a safe, welcoming and inclusive workplace. So when people are applying for jobs with you, the consideration about going back into the closet is not even remotely on the agenda because it has significant mental health and well-being outcomes for rainbow communities. And then finally, only 39% of the people we surveyed could point to specific mental health support that was available in New Zealand during this time, and they pointed to outline. So that means 61% of our survey respondents did not know what rainbow specific mental health support was available. So please, Always ensure in any communication to your employees that you include information about Outline and or any other local um, rainbow specific support services that, that are available. So that's about it from me. The main call is employers, we're asking you to do more. Please be aware that rainbow people are more impacted potentially than the general population because we know Rainbow people have five times the suicide rate of the straight population and cis population and have worse mental health and well-being outcomes in general. Thank you for your time. Please share the results and please reach out if you need more support.